Hey everybody, I am going to do a quick review on these knives here and just to show you a company that I discovered and then I discovered that my discovery was not really a big discovery. However, I was on Blade Forums a while back and I just started checking out some of these knives from a maker called Swanee River, a custom knife maker. And this is the first one I ordered. It came in. It was pretty expensive. I'm not going to tell you how much, but let's just say it was a, could have bought me a nice cold steel. But man, I just like it. I like having this. And I don't know if y'all are into small knives at all. And they're kind of useful. You know, you've got to cut into something, cut into a package, or maybe start peeling on orange. I mean, you're not going to chop wood with these things, but they're just kind of cool. They don't hardly weigh anything. You just stick them in their little sheath here, chunk them in your pocket, and it's just kind of a third or fourth knife or whatever. So you don't have to pull out your large espada to open your orange or your package of jujubes. So I got this one first. This is called the War Frog. And look at that. You know what that is? That is corn cob. That's reinforced or induced or whatever they call it when they make it hard and that's a corn cob pattern isn't that cool looking and some really expensive steels that I don't remember what they are but check that pattern out on there this guy does some really cool work if he still has his lime cutters up tomorrow on payday I'll be re reviewing one of those next week because I've been wanting one of those for a while and this is carbon fiber, so you know that's got to be nice. And they don't, if you got a little lanyard on there, it really help. I mean, it really, it's not going to slip out of your hand or anything. Now, without the lanyard, it's kind of, kind of tiny. You still do a little mincing or chopping or whatever you need to do. But they're kind of neat. Now, you saw this one today. This is the letter opener. And I love skulls, so this guy, I'll, right off the bat, gets my attention for having a skull stamp. This one, y'all would be proud of me. I sharpened, yes, on my own, like a big boy. It came, it wasn't very sharp, and now it will shave you. So, sadistically sharp. That deranged knife guy, I managed to put an edge on there. And this one's cool. He makes a regular Kiridashi that I hope to get one of these days. I just like that. I just like the way that feels. It's just kind of a cool knife, throw in your pocket, pull it out, makes for a cool little conversation, but also very useful. I've used them a couple times. I've carried this one and this one. Of course, I got these two today, as you saw in my other video. Not a bad little knife. I mean. As far as the quality, it's top notch. As far as usability, it's got its purposes. And they're cool to look at. So there you go, and you can always say you get custom knives. So these are my four custom knives that I have right now. I, I don't think I have any more. Do I? I don't know, we'll find out. So there you go, it's a really short video. You got the war frog, the pocket frog, the keychain kiridashi and the letter opener all from Swanee River oh I was gonna tell you yeah I thought I discovered these or you know I felt really cool about finding them out on blade form this guy that makes these and come to find out you can get these on blade HQ so while they're still custom they're not as exclusive to me as I thought so he but he's he's well well known enough to get on blade HQ he does quality work I can't imagine just anybody gets on there. So check those out if you get a chance. That's Suwannee River, S-U-W-A-N-N-E-E, -E, something like that. Suwannee River. All right, that's all for that. I won't go into any more detail. But like here, subscribe here. Well, like here, subscribe here. Comment down there. And I will talk to y'all later.